I'm Greg McHale from the Wild Yukon. And if you follow any of my other videos, you can tell that I do a lot actually on optics. Because in the kind of hunting that we do here out west, optics are number one. When I look at the differences, you know, between say a 10 by 42 that I use almost all of the time versus say a 12 by 50, or, you know, you go down to something else like an eight by 42 or eight by 40. So really what I mostly carry with myself is I'm usually using the 10 by 42 in the mountain situation um, because I can hold them stable and there's so many reasons to use that. But I'm gonna talk about the 12 by 50. This is the Razor UHDs and where they shine in the mountain situations that we use out, out west here in the Yukon. First off, it's a little bit bigger. It's four ounces heavier than say the 10 by 42, but that 50 millimeter objective lens just gathers a little bit more light, gives you a little bit more field of view. And the same UHD, these being the 12s, 12 power, you, know, you just get a little bit more, you know, you just get a little bit closer. I find that these things really shine in a scenario that I would highly recommend that you use them for is that if there's two people hunting and you only want to carry one spotting scope, which is happens all the time. You know, you're out there with your buddy and you're trying to make a decision, do we take one or two spotting scopes? Now, I always take two spotting scopes because that's just me. I always want to have my own. But if somebody's coming with me and they don't necessarily want to carry one, that's fine. That's where I say, okay, we need to have the 12 by 50s with us because it's just that little bit more power than what I would be carrying the 10s and it might just satisfy that middle ground between the 10 by 42s and then all the big bump up to the 27 on the power on the spotting scope. So I really like these, they've, uh, they've really proven out and the ability if, you, if your partner has the ability or if I don't have a spotting scope or somebody borrows my spotting scope, often we would be out, you know, we're just not seeing any game for hours and hours. And then that's when we start spreading the equipment around. You know, rather than three of us just, or two of us sitting there doing, two people sitting there doing nothing while I'm glassing, our team, we can spread the glass around and really take advantage of more eyeballs. So that's where somebody's always got the 12 by 50s in their pack and they can really contribute to the hunt without having to carry another spotting scope so that everybody's being utilized. And these things, the glass is amazing, a little bit heavier, but you also you get that added power. And at the end of the day, it's all about finding animals. I think the 12 by 50s really shine in the Midwest where a lot of times you're in your vehicle and you're moving along, you stop to glass, you want to have that little extra power if you're looking for mule deer, you're looking for pronghorns, whatever it is, just you have that little bit more time, but you don't want to take the time to set up your, tr your spotting scope and your tripod, you know, every time you want to look out there. You know, you have the ability to just get them up quick, have that great quality glass, and really reach out there with the 12 power. So if you like the video, if you agree, if you don't agree, leave a comment, leave a message, but thanks for watching.